Hi kids, my name's Nicole and this is Let's Make Art and you are here to paint with us. And we are, let me put this in center, we are doing something a little bit different and fun. And shiny. And shiny. This is our metallic night sky that we are doing together. Oh. And so first I wanna tell you the supplies to grab to do this with us. So you'll notice that it's on a little bit different color paper. So we're gonna be using black paper. Now if you don't have black paper, you also can grab white paper. Then we are going to be using acrylic paint. So if you have our kit, we're just using this metallic acrylic paint. So open that up. Then we are using a brush. You can use any size brush. And a few other different things I would grab for this one is a pencil, any kind of pencil, and a bowl or a plate actually. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use this. You'll see that it's the same size. So we're gonna use that to help us. So grab those supplies out. Then we are going to meet who our video guy is. So I'm going to introduce you to, if you hear this guy's voice, this is what he looks like. Hello. This is Keenan. He's our camera guy, so he's going to be here helping us. Thank you for coming today. Paint. <laughs> then what we're going to do is we're going to do our motto together. So this is our kids' motto that we do to come together as a community. Are we good? We're good. Okay. So if you can raise your right hand and repeat after me. I am brave. I am brave. I am kind. I am kind. And I am creative. And I am creative. Let's do this. <laughs> Boom. Boom. Okay, now we're in the zone. We're ready to paint. So the first step that we're going to do, we're going to do this project in four different steps. So let me go over them with you first. So first we're going to do our circle. Then we're going to paint our hills. Then the third step is we're going to paint our night sky. So that entails, that includes the moon, the clouds, and stars. And then we're gonna paint the outside. So those are the four steps we are doing here today. Now, grab your bowl or a plate. If you don't have either of those, you can draw your own circle. This is just to kind of help us out. But what you're gonna do is you are going to place that on your page, you can do it anywhere. I'm just placing mine in the center. And I'm gonna use my pencil. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold this and I'm gonna trace on the outside of it. Now, Keenan, can you tell me, is that dark enough? Or should I use a white oh, yeah. pencil? It, yeah. On the black paper with all the lights pointing at it, it's reflective. Ooh, fun. It is fun. Fun. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do two of these to show you two different options. So I'm going to do this one more time, but you're only going to do one. Or you can do two, actually, if you Ooh. like. What if you do two on the same page? Oh, if you had two, like if you had, oh, that's, if you have a cup. Yeah. Maybe you do, that's a great idea. That'd be fun. You're very creative. Thank you. Okay, so that is the first step. So we got that done. Now, the second step is grab your acrylic paint and a brush. Now, if you have this, if you have been doing watercolors with us, sometimes you'll notice that we dip our brush into water. You can do that as well if you'd like, but you'll notice that this paint, acrylic paint, is a little bit thicker. So, oops, got some water on there, that's all good. So I'm gonna dip in here, so it'll be a little bit thicker than what you're used to, but it works beautifully. So what we're going to do is we're going to paint our bottom hills. So as you see here is we're painting this beautiful night sky. Now, what, you, what I want you to do is I want you to use your imagination and draw what you see in your head. So if you see, when you close your eyes, if you see these rolling hills or these curved hills, you're gonna start from the left. You're just gonna kinda draw a curve. It can be any size. You can take up any amount of this circle. This is your painting. So maybe I'll do one, maybe it has, I see two. Oh yeah. So I'll draw two like that. Or maybe I'm gonna do it another one just to show you a different example. What if you see, maybe it's just a straight line. That looks like a giraffe is laying down. This one? Yes. <laughs> I can totally see that now. That is wonderful. <laughs> okay, so I have my two my line. So that's the second step. Now, the third step is that we are going to draw our night sky. Now, in my night sky, I have a moon. I see a moon. 
Now, the moon, if you ever go outside and look at it, you'll notice it can be different shapes depending on what time of the month of it, it is. So sometimes it's a crescent moon. And Keenan actually taught us a really cool way to draw a crescent moon in one of our other projects. So if you want to cr draw a crescent moon, which looks like this, so it's a curve and a curve, what we're going to do is we're going to rotate and move our page. And I'm going to draw my crescent moon in this area. So I'm going to do it from the side, and I'm going to draw a smiley face. So I'm going to draw a smiley face, and then I'm going to do another smiley face on top of that, but it's going to be a little bit smaller. So I'm going to take it from the left side and connect it to the right side. Ooh, that's like a little sliver. Nice. I like that one. Ooh, that's cool. The moon has to be happy because he's just floating in space surrounded by stars. You're right. He loves that. So you'll see that there's there's so many different sizes of your moon that your moon can be. Nice. So they can be anything. Now. Do you have a favorite constellation? I always think of the Little Dipper. Yeah. Because I can find it. Ah. Okay. <laughs> or the Big Dipper. I don't know which one I see sometimes. I always get confused with those two. Yeah. What about you? I like the one that's called the Seven Sisters. Mm. It's a big. It's a cluster. I'm assuming there's seven. There's seven of them. They're hard to see, mm. but they're amazing. I'll I don't know look why I like them. I just do. <laughs> do you have a favorite constellation? Please tell we us. We would want to know. I also call the Seven Sisters Sir Cyclone. Why? Well, there was a game I played when I was a kid that had a guy named Sir Cyclone, and he looked like them. <laughs> that makes sense then. So we have... <laughs> as we're learning about different constellations. We have our this moon. Now on this one, I think I'm gonna draw a full moon. And maybe I'll draw it on the right side. So I'm gonna draw a circle on this one. So again, I'm just showing you that there are different ways that you can make this on your own. So you do not have to follow exactly. I'm just going, being your guide and your friend to show you that there's so many different ways you can paint this. Now, in, let's say, in this one, I'm going to draw some clouds. So clouds are kind of different. Actually, they're kind of like rolling hills, but in the sky. So you're going to draw curves and connect them. Sometimes they look like chef's hats. Yeah. <laughs> Again, great imagination. I totally can see that. You can draw a little hat right there. Maybe we'll draw another little one right there. So you're just connecting them. So, I'm sorry I didn't say this earlier, but you'll notice that I, we have our circle and we're drawing everything inside of that. So when I was drawing my clouds, I didn't go outside the lines, I just went right up to it. So that's why we're doing that. So I drew my clouds, maybe on this one, maybe the clouds come from this side. Maybe it's one really big one. Mm. Ooh. That kind of looks like, um a big smiley face with one eye and one eye patch. <laughs> yes, I see that now. So I can't unsee that now. <laughs> okay, now we are going to draw our stars. So when you're drawing stars, there's so many different ways you can draw stars. You can just take your brush, we're gonna dip in in our paint, and you can draw dots. So I'm just lightly tapping my paper so you can draw dots, you can draw crosses, so or an X, so I'm drawing a line and a line across, and then you can draw dots at the end. Let's see, another way you can draw a star is you can do the same thing, so I'm gonna draw two lines, and then in the spaces in between, I'm gonna draw an X over that. So you can draw a line, a diagonal line, then another one. So it's like a snowflake. Maybe you add dots to that. So there are all different ways you can draw your star. Now, if you want, maybe we'll draw a few more. I think on this one, I want to draw a shooting star in my night sky. So maybe in this open space, so this is when you are the artist and you are creative. You can decide what space you want to fill with your art. So I think in this space right here, I'm gonna draw, you can draw a five-pointed star also, Ooh. which is you're gonna draw an A. 
you might need to, I'm gonna bring the paint a little bit closer to me so I don't have to reach over. And they're gonna draw a diagonal line up and then a line across, which is horizontal. And then we gotta connect our star, we gotta finish it. So I'm gonna connect it from here down. So there's my five-pointed star. And then I want to be shooting, which means that it's moving through the sky. So I'm gonna draw lines and moving out. So it looks like it's shooting across. That Whoa. looks so cool. I love that. I and love shooting stars. And I, as I was doing this, I just thought, you know what? I wanna fill in, I wanna fill in my moon. All right. Why not? Yeah. Sometimes the moon covers the sun. You're right. An eclipse? An eclipse. Ooh, you could do your own, your favorite star constellation in the sky. Yes! So as Keenan and I were talking about, there's so many different star, con star constellations. So you can draw yours maybe right here. Let's see, the Big Dipper, or the Mini Dipper, is four, right? Yep. And then... And then it's got a tail somewhere. Something like that? Yep. Should I draw a line to connect them? Nope. Okay. I'm gonna leave them like that. Leave cool. Them. I love that. Now, the other thing is that, like I said, you are an artist and you get to make this your own night sky. Is there other stuff in your hills? So maybe you want to, maybe you decide, oh, I want more hills. Oh. So maybe you add more. Maybe you add a river. Oh, that would be so cool. Let's see. Hmm. And a dragon. Maybe the river comes down like this. Comes to a point. Ooh, pretty. You can draw a little dragon. Let's see, on top right here. It's gonna be like, cause it's a, a shadow since it's dark. Mm -hmm. Give it some scales and a tail. Nice. A nose. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of see a, a platypus. Can you shift that to the right a little bit? Yes, I can. That's awesome. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. kinda like a up, it looks like a fluffy duck. Up for interpretation <laughs> what animal that is, but that's the fun part. <laughs> you could ask everyone, what do you see? That would be a really fun game. That would be a fun game. <laughs> yes. Oh, that'd be so fun. So you can do that, or maybe I decided, what if this is actually water? Because my brain thinks of when you look at the water, you see that line, and maybe the moon is reflecting on the water. Ooh. So I'm gonna draw some lines like that. Oh, that looks cool. Something like that. Okay, those are just so many different ways to do this. This is fun to do together. Now, the fourth and last step is we are going to outline our circle. So you're gonna take your paint and you're gonna paint directly on top of your line. So this is the finishing part of your circle. Now, you will see that I like to move my paper as I do this, it just helps me Otherwise, I'll be kind of reaching over, and then I have a long sleeve, so maybe I'll pull that up. That probably will help. Ooh, smart. So I'm gonna outline this. When you're doing this, like I said, this paint is a little bit thicker, so if you ever pick it up and you grab a lot, that's okay. You can always just tap off to the side and then get a little bit off. Okay. Lovely. Oh, these lines remind me of a basketball. If I kind of oh, squint. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that would be another fun one that you can that do. That would be another fun one. You could draw, you could paint a basketball hoop on one of the hills. Yeah. <laughs> a, a court? Yeah. Let's do it. Like that, and then a hoop. How's that? Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Okay, now, the a fun thing that you can do, you don't have to do this, but I wanna show you is, I'm gonna draw some dots on the outside. So I kinda wanna bring it to life just a little bit more, and I'm just gonna draw dots around my circle. 
So I'm not directly on top of the line, I'm just drawing it a little bit on the outside of it. So I'm gonna keep rotating my paper. Now maybe you decide, I wanna do some dashes. Maybe you wanna do Ooh. dot, 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 line, line. What if you look at Morse code and you do the word star all the way around <gasps> the circle? Or, I do not know Morse code. Or night sky. Do you know Morse code? Not at all. Okay. <laughs> but that's why I say you could look it up. We can make it up. Yeah, that'd be fun. Dot, dash, dash, dot, 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 dash, dash, dot, <laughs> night sky. Oh, well, that's Morse code. That's what you put as <laughs> the Morse code signature. If it happens to you, we just keep going. We roll with it. Sometimes pain gets everywhere. It's part of your creation. Yeah. Maybe that's just like little, that little looks fireflies. So cool, fireflies. <laughs> yes. Woo! I love that. This is so much fun. Okay, now I think we're done. Sweet. You can add so much more to it if you want to drop more. Um, after this, I'm going to paint the other side. I wanted to show you now. There, there are other things that you can do. This is another example. So on the outside of this, I drew kind of wavy lines. And on this one, actually this one, I did make water. And I felt like making it daytime, not not time. Yeah, I like that. And I drew a sailboat. So this is another option that you can do. Another one, I wanna show you another way, is that this one I drew mountains. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, you could do a waterfall on that one. Yeah, oh, that's a good idea. So there are so many different ways that you can do this one project. Now, the final step that we always got to remember is we got to be kind to our tools. So we're going to close this cap. I'm going to grab my water cup and sweep the bottom of my brush to clean it off. And then we are done. The last thing is you're just going to be proud of what you made. I want you to hold it up and show those in your home what you made and also show us. So I want to see it. We really want to see it. Ask your grown-up to take a picture of it. And we have a Facebook group where there's a lot of us in there, kids, and Keenan and I will be in there to cheer you on. So we want to see what you make. Take a picture, post it. The group is called, it's a Facebook group called Let's Make Art Kids Projects that you can join along, share with us. And this was such a fun one. It was, it's always great to paint with you. And remember that you are brave, kind, and creative. And we'll see you next time.